Engaging your audience, harnessing visual aids in debate. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be focusing on a very important aspect of debates and discussions, incorporating visual aids. We'll explore why they're crucial, how to choose them, and how to use them effectively. So, why are visual aids important in debates and discussions? Well, they're not just there to look nice. Visual aids enhance your presentation by providing a graphical representation of your points. They help in capturing your audience's attention and making complex ideas easier to understand. Remember, people retain information better when it's presented visually and verbally. There are many types of visual aids you can incorporate into your presentation. PowerPoint slides are the most common, but don't forget about charts, graphs, images, videos, or even physical objects. The key is to choose the right type of visual aid that best represents your data or information. Designing an effective visual aid is a skill in itself. Here are some tips. 1. Keep it simple. Your visual aids should be clean, clear, and easy to read. Avoid clutter or too much information on one slide or chart. 2. Use contrasting colors. Make sure your information stands out against the background. 3. Maintain consistency. If you're using a series of visual aids, ensure they have a consistent design theme. Your visual aids should complement your speech, not take over it. Here are some key points to remember. 1. Don't read directly from your aids. Use them as a reference point and explain in your own words. 2. Maintain eye contact with your audience. Don't keep looking at your visual aid. 3. Reveal your visual aids at the right time. Keep your aids hidden until you're ready to discuss them. This helps maintain audience focus. That's a wrap on incorporating visual aids in debates. Remember, the aim of using visual aids is to enhance your presentation, make your points clearer, and engage your audience more effectively. A picture is indeed worth a thousand words, especially in the context of debates and discussions. Thanks for joining us today and we hope you found this session helpful. Until next time, keep practicing and perfecting your debate skills.